Hey, good morning. Welcome to Mentor Monday. Today is Monday, March 26, 2018. We've designed Mentor Monday to be a micro dose of encouragement, inspiration, and miracle grow on your human potential, but particularly your potential as a coach. This week, I was thinking a lot about potential and how it relates to other people, keeping us from hitting the ceiling on our growth. And there's probably a lot of different kinds of people who could really help us in that pursuit. But I have boiled it down to these three because I think these are three that are kind of neglected sometimes or maybe we're not really intentional about looking for. The group of people, number one, are first of all, the people who follow you. And a lot of you may not look at yourself as a leader, but quite honestly, there is always someone, regardless of where you are in your life, regardless of your age, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, or older, there's always someone in our life that is watching the kind of life that we're living and there are parts of us that are inspiring them. There are things that they see in our life that they aspire to be. And we want to become people who are really intentional about looking for these people. Currently right now in my life, you know, I work as a coach trainer, but there are 125 coaches right now who every week I do a group coaching call for and they're all trying to get to the next level as coaches, but also as business people. And every week I look forward to meeting with those people, to gathering around those people. And for the most part, it's a virtual call. So these people are all over the world. You know, they can be in Greece, South Africa, they can be all over the United States, but these people join me every week. And when they pull on my wisdom, when they pull on my experience, it just makes me want to be better. It makes me every week come to life because they're drawing on parts of me, sometimes parts of me that I've frankly neglected, that I didn't think that was that big of a deal. Because listen, your greatness a lot of times is happening in times and moments during the day that you just take for granted. You know, you're just going through the motions sometimes. Sometimes you're just doing what's expected of you, but those are the moments where your character is really on display and people are watching you. I have a young man who just in the last couple of weeks, and, and he's a younger guy that I see this potential in. And I noticed how when I was around that he would see things, I could just see things in his eyes. I could see the questions that he was asking me. And I ended up asking him to go grab coffee with me. And you know, I'm putting the bill for coffee as you would expect, but I just wanted to get to know the guy. And the guy was so overwhelmed that I would spend the time because he knows what I do. Um, and I, but I just noticed this guy when he was around me that he would have a certain level of honor for me. He would ask questions about me. And I was like, you know what? I want to invest in this guy. And here's the best part of helping people who are aspiring and are coming up. We get to open our hands and give away what they couldn't afford. We get to give away something of ourselves. And there's something that's happening in that human transaction that makes us step into our potential that makes us want to be the people that other people are seeing in us. What they do for us when we're dealing with the people who are riding in our wake and are just watching us is they are holding up the mirror and they're saying there's something in you that I see that maybe you're not recognizing that I want. And sometimes it's younger people who are just looking at me in my marriage with, uh, with my wife, you know, or they're looking at something in my kids and they're like, wow, I wish I had something that your daughter is getting out of you. I've heard these conversations, had these conversations, I've heard these stories for the last 20 years, and I want to pay attention, especially now that I'm in my 40s, I wanna pay attention to the fact that most people are not poured into, most people are not engaged in that kind of way. You can start recognizing that in your life right now. Who's riding in your wake? Who is just behind you in your stage of life? Because here's the deal, is it some of these people that you're going to be leading, some of them will be a lot younger than you, sometimes they'll be the same age as you, sometimes they'll be older than you. This week, pay attention to those kinds of people. It will help you take the lid off your potential. Here's the group number two. Group number two are people who mirror you, that are parallel, they're in the same part of the journey with you. And I look for these people consistently because I believe in this concept of that iron sharpens iron. 
And if you've ever tried to sharpen a knife or something like that, it's actually a real brutal process. It's these things that kind of come together and it gives people their edge or at least sharpens their edge. I look for people who, um, who kind of irritate me, who kind of provoke me in a really, really good way. I look for those people who are, I don't want to use the word competitive in the way that most people think of competition because most people are just trying, when they think of competition, they're thinking of it from a lack perspective. I'm thinking of it from a wealth and a prosperity perspective of I want to surround myself with great people. And I want, I want to see people who are doing similar things, not always identical to what I'm doing, but similarly in life, they're at a certain stage that they want something more. What I find a lot of times with people who are my own age in their 40s and they're having kids and they're buying houses is that a lot of times they want to settle and they don't want anything more. For me, I want to look for people who want something more. And I long for those relationships because a lot of times we have people, what we call in, um, in a lot of self-help areas and different things as accountability groups. And usually people are holding us accountable for um, not doing the wrong thing. But I want to have accountability in my life for my greatness. I want people to call it out in me. I want to notice it in other people. There's nothing weak about telling other people they are great that you are walking alongside. I long for those relationships and I look for them. I encourage you to look for those kinds of people who will run really fast and really far, far with you. See, you can run by yourself. You ever hear this saying that you can run you know, really fast by yourself. You can run really, go really far with people, but here you can actually run really fast and far with the right kinds of people. And that's what I'm looking for. I encourage you to look for those people this week. And the last group are the people, or maybe it's the person that right now, their life scares the crap out of you. And sorry, there's no other way to really say it, who is it right now that there's some aspect of their life that you want, but it's also terrifying at the same time? Because what I really believe is that the thing that's keeping us from going to the next level in our life most of the time is fear. It's fear of the unknown. It's something that's scary. It's a place that we haven't confronted things in our life. And we're insecure, we're dis or we're disqualifying in certain areas. Maybe we're afraid of failure or whatever. I want to look for the people who have went ahead of me in those areas. I want to find, a, and maybe it's a person in various different areas. It's maybe there's not one person who has done everything, but I want to look for a person who has lived, that have told the tale, that have fought the battles, that they have the scars. I want to look for the people who have success in a certain area that I'm not there yet. And here's the thing is that some of these people, maybe you're reading their books, maybe you're listening to their podcasts or their CDs or whatever. You, nothing is more flattering to people than to ask them to pour into your life, to mentor you in some kind of way. Or here's one of the things that I found. Some years ago, I was doing some interviews. And what I would find is that if I just sent an email to someone that I really liked what they did, it was amazing how many of those people, I would say like 90 something percent of those people said, yeah, you can interview me. And they would do it for free. And they would spend an hour, sometimes two hours of their time, me just asking questions from them. Listen, you are connected to anybody that you want to reach out to right now in this present day and time more than ever. It's probably one phone call, one email away from actually reaching some of the greatest minds and some of the greatest mentors that, that are in the world presently. But some of those people live in your own town. You don't underestimate those things. Some of those people live in your own town. There is somebody around you right now that would speak into your life, even if that means one time a month. I've had a couple of those people. And, and in my lifetime, I've actually had several, but there's a couple right now that, you know what, I wouldn't be able to get to the level that I've gotten to in my life, or I wouldn't be going after the things that I'm going after in my life if it wasn't for those people helping me take the lid off. So right now, think about those people. Nothing is more flattering than for someone to come and tell you, your life, this aspect of your life, there's greatness in it, and I wanna live into those great that kind of greatness. I wanna sit at your feet and learn from you. Make room right now, this week, think 
intentionally. Who is following you? Who is holding up the mirror? Who is running with you right now that is that is sharpening you? But who are the people right now that their lives terrify you, but you want that kind of success? Look intentionally for those kinds of people, and I guarantee you, you'll take the lid off. Hey, I would love to hear from you. You can connect with us through all kinds of social media, whether that be Instagram, you may have found, found us through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you can email us, whatever. Make sure that you connect with us. I would love to hear what you think, maybe some of the, the kinds of people that inspire you that are helping you take the lid off. But follow us, connect with us. Please share this video to anyone that you think that it could help and have a great rest of your week. Take care.